Hey guys, Jordan here, back from our first day in Paris. Um, we had quite a day today. We went on a pretty long walk around the city, um, and we first stop went to uh, Notre Dame, uh, or Notre Dame, for those who like correct pronunciation. The line to get in was absurd, so we just kind of stood outside and saw it. It's a beautiful cathedral. From there, we walked to the Louvre, um, which had its assault rifle bearing guards out front. In fact, we've seen a lot of that here in Paris recently, which a guy at the bar tonight told me that that is not usual. Um, kind of a side effect of the Charlie Hebdo attacks here uh, a couple months back. So We went to the Louvre and saw the glass pyramid. Um, it looked kind of empty from while we were there, which we found out the reason why. Turns out the Louvre is closed on Tuesdays. Today is Tuesday. Sweet. It's nice and pretty from the outside, too, you know. From there, it was kind of a straight shot all the way down to the Arc de Triomphe, um, but not before passing the Luxor Obelisk, which is a large Egyptian obelisk set in the middle of a roundabout about halfway between the Louvre and the Arc. Um, that obelisk is over 3,000 years old, and it originally stood at the Luxor Temple in Egypt and was transported to Paris in the 1800s to be put on display there. Then we stopped by the Arc de Triomphe, which is a beautiful arch, again set in the middle of a large roundabout. Uh, in downtown Paris. Arc du Triomphe. Here's a banana for scale. It's apparently very small. You get across in the middle. You don't. Most people live there. Oh. It was constructed in honor of those who fought and died for France in the French Revolution and Napoleonic Wars. And uh, the names of all the French victories and generals are inscribed on the inside and outside. And then from there, the piece de resistance, as they would say is of course the Eiffel Tower, which is gorgeous. Um, it was a beautiful day and we have the option to take an elevator all the way to the top or to take stairs to the first and second floor and then take an elevator to the top there, which is what we did. So we climbed a buttload of stairs, about over 600 stairs. and saw some pretty great views from there. but the top is more than twice as high as the second floor that you walk to. So we took an elevator ride from the second floor to the observatory up top and saw some just outstanding views of Paris. We stayed up there for a couple hours just taking pictures and, and just looking. Oh, I can't believe my post got to the top of Reddit. Front page, man, unbelievable. I cannot believe it. We're on the top of the Eiffel Tower. Facts about the Eiffel Tower. It was originally proposed to be in Barcelona, Spain, but Barcelona rejected it. The tower has been sold at least two times by con artists for scrap metal. Uh, and to those people who bought it, I got a bridge to sell you in Brooklyn. The height of the Eiffel Tower varies by about six inches between summer and winter because metal contracts. Sir Gustav Eiffel had an apartment at the top, which is actually still visible with some wax figures up there. And that those are very, very good wax statues, or they pay them a lot to sit still for 12 hours. Oh, that guy blinked. He's fired. But after a couple hours at the top of the Eiffel Tower, we... There's motion sensor lights in here, and I haven't made enough motion. But yeah, after a couple hours at the top of the Eiffel Tower, we took the elevator down to the second floor and then walked down the rest of the stairs, and then took the long hike back to the hostel. That pretty much sums up day one in Paris. Stay tuned for day two in Paris when we visit the Louvre when it's actually open. Thanks for watching. But that is, right? Yeah. So, that was like the bottom? Yeah. Right. I'm gonna throw you off the Eiffel Tower. Did you enjoy your last little bit? 
started from the bottom, now we're here. 